Hey guys, Aldo here from JSE Props. Uh, I've just come to the realization that I've never uh, faced the camera uh, to, uh, I guess, address something. Uh, so it's kind of a fairly new concept to me. Uh, so pardon me if I stutter a lot and whatnot. First and foremost, I want to thank you for allowing me to have the opportunity to provide uh, a product to, to you guys in the community. Uh, it's, it's really helped me grow as a maker uh, and it's something that I, I truly actually enjoy doing uh, despite, you know, all the jokes I make about seeing patterns from, you know, doing the same prop uh, over and over again. Uh, that being said, uh, I want to thank all of you for being incredibly patient with me. Um, I'm not sure how much I've tested uh, people's patience, uh, but I really highly appreciate uh, you guys being uh, really patient and understanding uh, with me. Uh, that being said, I did want to give an update as far as the vibroblades go. I want to highly apologize for the big delay uh, that's happened uh, with with this particular uh, run. Uh, there's been a lot of things both in my personal life that have been going on and as well as uh, just stuff business related in a way. Uh, most of it had to deal with uh, me having both a, a day job and uh, being a full-time student. Uh, I didn't realize how this could heavily impact uh, the business uh, until it started doing so. Uh, again, I really want to apologize uh, for the delay. It's not something that I like. It's not something that I find acceptable uh, as far as for, for me personally and for you as well. Uh, again, a bunch of you have been incredibly patient with me uh, with this you know, huge uh, time delay. Um, on, on these orders. Uh, thankfully, I'm down to my last, I want to say, seven or eight orders uh, to be dispatched. Uh, I should be done with uh, maybe another two today. Um, as far as uh, this being addressed, uh, moving forward, uh, I, I, am look, I am currently looking at very possibly uh, hiring people to come work with me. Uh, right now, it's literally just me, really, and my you know, my little, my little shop in the room and every now and then I, I do stuff in the garage too. Uh, but with Florida heat is sometimes it's a little hard to be outside in that, in that garage. Um, but I, I am planning on possibly bringing maybe two people on board. I'm still not exactly sure as to how much I can afford, uh, how many people I can afford to pay uh, to come help me out. Um, there's also some possible looks into restructuring or uh, not necessarily restructuring, but I just want to change a little bit of, of how I operate with things, especially with runs like the Viberblade runs. I'm still not 100% sure if I want to keep doing these runs in the current way that I am doing them. So we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. Apart from the operational stuff, uh, I, I'm just, you know, the, the website had a, a, an overhaul. It looks different. Uh, I'm currently doing a soft reopening of the website because I believe since June, I stopped taking orders. So from June, June till now, I haven't really uh, taken much orders. Uh, so I am trying to do a little soft reopening. Some people haven't been asking me about Mandoputers. Uh, those are the first things that I'm going to be putting back up on the website. They are going to be limited uh, just a tiny bit. Uh, I'm going to make it so I don't put more work on me uh, than, I can, uh, than, I, than I can actually take right now. Um, as far, again, as far as the Bible Blades go, I still don't know what I'm going to do, uh, with, uh, future runs. Uh, I might not make them runs anymore. I might just actually start making them and make them available for purchase as I make them. Apart from all the, uh, other operational stuff, I, I really don't want this to, to look like I'm, you know, trying to excuse my way out of the responsibility that I took on whenever I started this business. Uh, I'm fully aware. Uh, you know, of, of, of the business practices and how this looks uh, for me down the road. It's really not something that I wanted to, to happen. I, I didn't think it was going to happen until it happened. Um, and now that I'm in this, you know, hole of uh, back orders and a really, really delayed uh, run, uh, I can see why a lot of people could lose, uh, you know, trust in vendors. Uh, whether you did with me, that's completely fine. Uh, you know, totally justifiable. Uh, I just want you guys to know that, yes, I am still trying to make time uh, to work on these orders uh, as much as I can between, you know, the day job and my studies. Um, 
I'm really hoping with some stuff that I'm going to introduce uh, sometime in the future, I can work less at the day job and actually start spending a lot more time uh, in the shop, uh, which would be my ideal situation uh, because, you know, I get more time to actually put down on orders. And, you know, if I get more income from that, then I can spend that on uh, making better products and even hiring more people uh, to the point, you know, you know, we have a pretty steady workflow going on. I really appreciate all of you uh, being patient with me, uh, choosing uh, me as a vendor for your Mandalorian needs uh, for the most part. Uh, I am trying to expand a little bit more outside of Star Wars. So that is going to be a little bit of, exciting, uh, of an exciting thing to see. Uh, we got some pretty cool upcoming projects uh, that, again, I don't want to get too into it until I actually uh, get out of the Biver Blade uh, nightmare that I'm currently on. You can always contact me uh, through my business means, uh, my uh, business email, my business phone number, uh, and my and you can always message me on the, the Facebook, the business Facebook. With all that being said, I know I've said about 50 million times. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for, you know, supporting me as a vendor. Uh, thank you for watching this and taking time out of your day to, to do so. Uh, I hope you guys have a really wonderful rest of your weekend.